welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And unfortunately, we are meeting under another cyber attack. We just had one not too long ago on the Colonial Pipeline that like crippled the whole Southeast and some of the East Coast and everything else because they shut down all the gas, fuel, diesel fuel, jet fuel, everything that was going up and down the East Coast was all pretty much put to stop. Now we wake up today and we find out all this. Some shifts canceled at U.S. Canadian meat plants after a JBS cyber attack. Now JBS is the largest meat packing company in the world. They have operations in several different countries. All right, and they were affected and they have shut down different operations throughout the country here. Canada, Australia, just goes on and on, folks. Where does this madness stop? I mean, is there is there a way to end this madness? Is there a way to put a stop to what these cyber attacks are doing to this country, to the world? I don't think there is. They just say they pick up and move, just like with the Colonial Pipeline. They said that uh, all those guys were disbanded and they're gone. Yeah, they all just disbanded, you know, the little shack out in the middle of Siberia someplace and ended up in probably some Tahiti sitting on a beach doing the same thing. I mean, come on. These people are not stupid, folks. They know what they are doing and they're going after major infrastructure that will affect our daily lives and our livelihood in the long run. This is going to cause the meat prices probably to rise even more. We know how it is. You know, I mean, if there's a little hiccup in oil and all of a sudden the prices jump like 20, 30 cents. I mean, come on, give me a break. So, you know, this is going to happen. So let's just dive into this just a little bit. All right. We're going to, I got three different sites I want you to see here. So like I did say, JBS canceled some of its shifts at its large U.S. and Canadian meat plants on Tuesday after the company was hit with by a cyber attack over the weekend, according to unions and company social media posts. All right. So everything is online. You know, this is half the problem with everything is everything is online. The attack caused JBS Australian operations to shut down on Monday. The company, the world's largest meat packer, said it was working to resolve the incident. They're working on resolving the incident. Does that mean they're working on paying the ransom? We don't know. All right, let's just jump over here to this one here and read this part. All right. <clears throat> JBS reported that the incident a few weeks ago after a ransom attack on Colonial Pipeline, the largest fuel pipeline in the United States, crippled the fuel delivery for several days in the U.S. and the Southeast. All right. We all know that. We all live through it. The attack also comes at a time when rising global meat prices as China increases imports, food costs rising, and plants continue to face shortages that started during the COVID-19 pandemic. Two kill and fabricate the shifts have been canceled at JBF's beef plant in Greenlee, Colorado due to the cyber attack. Representatives of the United Food and Commercial Workers International Union, local number seven, said in an email, once again, we're doing everything through the good old web here where they're tracking everything, following everything. JBS Beef and Cactus Tax in Texas also said on Facebook it would not run on Tuesday, updating in an earlier post that said it would plant would run as normal. Now let's flip right over here. That was uh, the NASDAQ. And this here over here that we're on right now, as you all can see, this is the Financial Times, which I just wanted to scroll down to this little section right here. The meat processing industry relies on software and IT systems for tracing and sorting of animals, as well as re record keeping to meet regulatory standards. Should not have a big impact on exports as long as it was not protracted. Don't you like this word right here? Should not. I bet you it does. 
It was too early to speculate, now we're speculating, on who had perpetrated the attack. Don't you love that? Or why? He added, well, I can tell you why. I don't know who. I can take a pretty good guess. But why is, well, we're hitting their way they travel, the way they move their products and everything else. If we take the gas, diesel fuel, jet fuel and all that, we can shut all that down. We cripple them that way. Now we turn around and now we want to cripple their food chain. It's just the beginning, folks. It's why you need to be prepared because every day it is something different and it's going to get more and more and they're going after the things that are going to hurt us the most. Make sure that you are paying attention to the news and what is going on. I mean, I heard this on the radio, it was on TV and everything else. And I'm showing you right on the web. If you go on there, every news media is covering this right now. It's just unbelievable, folks. So once again, here we are. Another lovely cyber attack. Another lovely thing that we get to deal with. That's going to cost us more money in the long run, you can bet your bottom dollar that they're going to raise prices because of this. It's going to happen. Prices of meat are already through the roof. So might as well just send them to Mars as far as I'm concerned, because that's about where the prices are headed. So do your best. Get out there. Keep prepping. Keep thriving to survive, folks. And every day... Is a new day and new problems. There is no really end in sight, in a sense. That's why, it, in the times we live in now, it is very important to be ready, to make sure that you're prepped and that you can weather the storm because it is not getting too much better. And what are they going to go after next? That is the million dollar question, folks. What is it that they're going to go after next? I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me for this little video. Bring you some updated, brief, breaking news. Thrive to survive, folks. Keep prepping. Keep your heads up.